Route serves as entry points to an Adonis.js application. Every of our application URI must have a corresponding route definition describing how the incoming HTTP request for a particular route should be handled. To make this clearer, let's try to understand how the default landing page of our newly created application works. Let's open the route.ts file inside the start directory. Here is the route definition that undoes the landing page, which says upon visit of the home page, which is represented by the forward slash, a view file called welcome.edge should be rendered. Welcome.edge contains the code for the landing page. All routes must be defined inside routes.cs. Although, we can define routes in different files, provided we import them inside routes.cs. A typical route should undo a corresponding HTTP request, such as get, post, patch, put, delete, and so on. Route definition accepts two arguments, which are the URI pattern of the route and the route handler. A route handler can either be inline or using a controller. In this lesson, we will be making use of inline handler to properly understand how routes correspond to HTTP requests. Let's rewrite this default route. This can be rewritten as route.get. The URI pattern will be forward slash, which represents the home page. When using inline handler, a closure is passed as the second argument to the route. We will define the closure as an arrow function, async. We can get the HTTP context from the closure. Then within the closure, we add the implementation to undo the route. So return contest.view.render, which will be the welcome.edge file. Also, we can get the view object directly by destructuring the context. And get rid of this. Now, if we comment this out and save, allow it to recompile our code and start the server, and we head back to the browser and refresh the page, we should have the same result as before. Just as get, we can define routes for other HTTP verbs, such as routes dot post route dot put route dot patch and route dot delete to make sure we properly understand how routes works let's define additional routes so i'm going to comment this out and define a get route which will be for an about page which will simply return a string saying this is the about page then we we'll define another one which will be for the contact page and this will say, this is the contact page. Save this. And head back to the browser. And let's try going to the about page. As you can see, we get our string. This is the about page. Same thing for the contact page. If we try to access a route that hasn't been defined, say task, we will get a 404 page not found error, as you can see. To wrap up this lesson, we can view all the registered routes for our application by running the list routes command. I'm going to run the command in a new tab. Node is list colon routes. As you can see, we are presented with a list of all our application routes. 